Hi, Aprajita. It's been a long, long time. Absolutely, it's been a while. I think three years. Yes, since your first release of the book. Yes. How's it been after that? It's been great. In fact, I've been writing Dubeji Bounces Back. Yes. And then and trying to get it published. And that's the reason why we are here. <laughs> Absolutely, we are. And wh what have you been doing all this while? And your international modeling assignment? Yes, I went to China, Abhi, uh, a month before. So it was amazing experience. I was there for the pageant. And I came uh, fourth, so third runners-up. So that was a big achievement. And I had a lovely, lovely time in China. Congratulations. You've always been a top 10 finalist thank in the Miss India as well. Yes, thank so you congratulations so much. again. But this is not why we are here. We are here to talk about your book. And let me start and like, you know, just get up with all the questions I have for you. Sure, do that. Okay, so um, first question, how does it feel to uh, have Dubijay bounce back released after the roaring success uh, of your first book, Move On Bunny? So Move On Bunny was episodical mm -hmm. and I really enjoyed writing it. Okay. It was about six episodes of Bunny Kapoor's life. And as you know, you've read it. So it was, he was bouncing from one place to another. Mm. But Dubeji bounces back in a different way. So I think I've matured as a writer. I'm enjoying this book even more. Yes. It's come out recently and it's getting rave reviews. And uh, you know, this is about someone who's down and out, down in the dumps, mm. had an accident, hasn't left a mark yet on the world, wants to do that. How he transforms himself, changes his personality, has the gumption to do it, the guts to do it. And how, you know, I was able to write this in a full length mode. So the novel is not episodical. Mm -hmm. It is one story from page one to 230. And it is like flowing. And that's what people tell me it reads while, while it reads as well. So it's very much more satisfying than my first book. And since the first book did well, I'm sure this will do even better. So basically, this is also a humorous and a romantic novel. Absolutely. So uh, you've become a pro in all this. So where does this humor and romance come from? So, you know, I've always had this little, I mean, I shouldn't be saying it myself, but I have this um, presence of mind saying things uh, which come on the spur of the moment. You've yeah. noticed that. Yes, very so, spontaneous of you. Exactly. So uh, hopefully I'm able to write uh, that way as well. Hmm. So I've always been like that. I've had this wit and humor which comes out naturally. So while writing, yes. I find that the flow doesn't stop. So I started out writing these middles and these short pieces. So these short pieces, they gave me satisfaction. They were published in the paper. Everyone used to call me up in the morning. Wow, your middle is there. Oh, we loved yeah. it, right? <laughs> right? So now, uh, but I've come to a stage where um, it felt too short. I mean, I didn't get that satisfaction out of it. So it's like having a long-term relationship now. So you have a book. You write it for six months. You write it for a year. Mm -hmm. You kind of uh, sink into it. You think about the book for the whole year, your characters, your situations. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you live the book. And then you become an author who um, is able to reproduce that once again. Uh, the second book, I really enjoyed that. And how humor and romance, because I feel that, you know, uh, there is a bit of romance in everyone, definitely. And there's a bit of humor in every situation. Mm. So we look at situations sometimes in a very grim way. Sometimes we become very uppity about things, very negative about things. And some people tend to do that. But I try to look at the cheerful side of life all the time. I try to be very uh, positive about things. And I write like that too. So, uh, and romance, uh, I guess I have a bit of romance in me too. So it becomes a natural corollary to write a romantic, humorous novel. I don't think I would ever be able to write a dark murder hmm. story. <laughs> okay, so I mean, you're married now. So I just want to tell all the ladies, they could have had a hand in you since you're very romantic. But yes. But yes, they can read my books. And you have two beautiful <laughs> daughters. So yeah, we're not going to go there. No, we're not going there at all. But I would love people to read my book. Yes. And if they get enjoyment out of that romance in the book, mm -hmm. and if they start imagining things, I have no problem. Also, I think it's very difficult to write humor. Not very, uh, very, uh, very few people can talk about the genre and write about it in particular. How do you manage that? I think that's a very good question. What mm -hmm. happens is that uh, in India especially, we don't have enough quality humor written. Yeah. And even in the films, if you watch, you know, the films which uh, pretend to be humorous, sometimes they're just slapstick, they're just uh, bim bang. So uh, sometimes a little bit of witty, intelligent humor is needed. And I think very few people write that in India. Mm. I hope I'm uh, doing that uh, to fill in the gap. Mm. I think this genre is a little under um, achieved. People are uh, looking for humor of quality, but they find uh, humor which is a little pale. So uh, this one sets uh, people thinking, people with good taste, and it reminds me of P.G. Woodhouse. So mm. that's what people say. And when I read P.G. Woodhouse, I get that inspiration. He used to write about the English society. 
So he would write about his farmhouses and about houses in the wilderness, in the remote areas, and how a family or guests, how they get entangled in various things. Mm -hmm. But the humor used to come out. Here in an Indian situation, a guy called Raghav Dubey, for example, in Dubeji Bounces Back, how he's in the bank and uh, how he's got a rival. So this girlfriend which he has, is, uh, they're both trying to woo her. And how banking situations, there's a hold up in the bank. Mm -hmm. So while uh, the situations may sound uh, uh, the kind you've read before or seen before, I think the treatment is a little more intelligent. So hopefully people, that's what, uh, and the reviews which have come in the papers have been so satisfying for me. Okay. Uh, since I know him a tad bit, uh, and I know that you are a multitasker, uh, I want the audience to ask you this question. I personally want to know how do you manage it all? Since uh, you are into writing and you are an IS officer too. So you know, this is what uh, people ask me all the time. Mm -hmm. It's not the first time I've been <laughs> asked this. But it is a very important question. Yeah. Because people who can be writers, just keep thinking, nahi time nahi hai. You know, I don't have time for this. So if uh, you just take up the gauntlet, if you think that, okay, now I'm going to do this yeah. because it's my priority, it's my love. I'm not going to watch that TV show. I'm not going to watch that movie or I'm not going out for dinner in three times a week. I'm going out only once a week. And then I would get so that time. From you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, those multidimensional aspects of life will come if you prioritize. Hmm. So say I want to play tennis, which I play three times a week. And I want to write, let's say, every day of the week. Hmm. Then I have very little time for just wasting time. So I will go to work. I'll come back and write something, I'll do a bit of meditation, and I'll go and play tennis in the morning and start all over again. So it's what you love, you have to give it priority. Yeah. Just like you have to give priority to your family yeah. and to your friends. If you don't meet a friend for two years, then what's the use of being friends? True, and it tends to happen in a hectic life, it I does, believe, it does, like, it does. ask me. Absolutely. Okay, so the last question is, um, what do you plan to write in future? So you know, humor is something which I'm going to stay with, but I have um, more meaningful stories in my mind. So here I've written stories which appeal to everybody. They are simple, but they are, you know, with a bit of nuances. Here I have a couple of stories in mind which are more about uh, depth, more about understanding human relationships and uh, deeper romance. Mm. But yet, maintaining the light tone, it's more challenging. But then I feel that I'm growing as a writer, growing as an author. So this second book has given me the confidence and the reviews I've got mm. that I can write something even deeper. Deeper without losing out on the humor is going to be the biggest challenge. Because you maintain humor and yet you go into the depth of a situation and a relationship. It's going to be very, very tough. But I plan to make it uh, happen. I wish you all the best for that. Thank you so much.